Hey everyone, it's April here and I have a sketchbook tour follow on from last week's video where I tried to fill up this sketchbook in two days and I completed it. So this is just a quick little tour because I only showed a few pages in my last week's video. So this is a sketchbook that I got from Scrawlerbox. I'll pop the link in the description because I have no idea what sketchbook it is. Just a regular old sketchbook. It's got about 32 pages, 34 pages maybe. Regular paper, not very good for watercolour, but we we did our best. So I basically tried to do this video. So I basically so I basically tried to fill up the sketchbook in a day. I failed, I did it in two days, which I still think is pretty impressive. I started with these fun little faces and I actually found these quite difficult because I've been using Procreate for the last month and I haven't put like pencil to paper. So this was definitely a warm up, but I, I do like how they turned out. The next one was a cover up page. So I had some doodles underneath this and I just made a little um, galaxy spread with some moons, which are kind of based on a online class that I've taken before with Baibun on YouTube. I'll leave her below. She does like a really cool lunar online class, which is really fun. So if you like mixed media, check that out. This is another little cover up from some silly little doodles I did for one of my scroller box videos. You may have seen it. Um, this was really fun. I just did it in yellow paint and it didn't kind of, it didn't cover up the doodles, but uh, I, I like how it turned out with all the different colors and stuff. I think it's really fun drawing on paint, especially when lots of things come through like the clouds or, you know, the, the paint here. It just makes it a little bit more vibrant and lifelike. And then I stuck some random stuff in that I had, drew some little fishies. Um, this is using Posca pens, which this paper is actually great for Posca pens. Most of the paper I've used Posca pens on before, they've like torn the paper. Um, this this paper is really great. So if you like Posca pens, this sketchbook, uh, check it out. This is a little leftover plant that I made by accident when I did my plant video. A couple of weeks ago so I popped that in, coloured it in and this is from a, another scroller box video that I did. And then halfway through the first day I decided to draw some fish skeletons which I've never drawn before but they were so fun. This was definitely my favourite. I think it's a piranha. I'm not sure but I feel like I messed the page up by putting the ink around the skeletons. I don't think this ink has been mixed properly. See how it's like really dark and patchy? Um, I didn't think I, sh I shook it well enough. So I tried again on a different page. This time I used gel pen, some white pencil over ink, and the gel pen kind of seeped into the page, so you can't really see it very well there. But it was fun. Fish skeletons are fun, something I don't normally draw. And then this is just an old classic. Putting some hairstyles on some faces. Um, I always think it's so hard thinking about hairstyles when you draw people if you're not following a reference. So. I like to just draw hairstyles every now and then so I have like a little library of hairstyles in my head. Although I do forget them as soon as I draw them so it doesn't really work. And then this was the last spread I did before I went to bed on the first night. And this was actually my most fun page I did that day. I just really loved it. I did it with the Ecoline. I did it with the PH Martins. The PH Martin inks. And I just drew some lily pads from some Pinterest references. And it was just really fun. I love lily pads. And the next morning we opened with some more portraits. I really love how this one turned out, especially. And this is something I really love to do if you have some leftover paint and you don't want to waste it. I just pop it on the page, any old colours, and then draw it over the top of it. And I just think it adds something really fun and it kind of just makes, you don't have to like worry about doodling around it or colouring everything in because it kind of like makes the portrait a centrepiece as it is or whatever you decide to draw. So I think that's really fun. And this was one of my favourite spreads I did on the second day. So I did some little wash landscapes, like abstract landscape, <laughs> landscapes some abstract landscapes and I've always wanted to try this because I see a lot of people doing it online. Um, never done it before and it was super super fun. I started off a little bit timid here but then as I moved on I did end up mixing the gouache in a little bit more and having a bit more fun and I really really love how these turned out. 
And then this one's a bit of a slow page. <laughs> Get it? Slow, because the snails. Uh, they're snails. I mean, what else is there to say? It's just some snails. I love snails. I hate standing on them. That's like one of my worst fears, standing on snails. This page is um a little yellow and pink spread. So I found this lady online on Pinterest. She has like half yellow and half pink hair, which is something I would love to do, but I'm way too shy to have hair like that. And then I found this really cool quote by, oh, I forgot who it was. It was a, it was a magician. It was a musician. Uh, some of the worst mistakes in my life were haircuts. And I don't think this correlates to her because I really love her haircut, but I just love that quote. I thought that was really funny. And then some peonies. And next up, I decided to draw some armadillos because I was going to draw some more pangolins, pangolins, because I love them. But then I saw heaps of armadillo pictures on Pinterest and they are so cute. Look at them. Look at this one here wrapped up in this little shell. Oh, I love them. And then back to gouache in the afternoon. So this was like getting on in the day, day two, and I decided to draw these really fun little abstract kind of pieces from aerial pictures of landscapes so this is like a river obviously these are some tulip fields these are some salt salt fields where they like collect the salt some crop crops um in circles and yeah they were really fun just a little bit of abstract art based on nature And then I also got my scroller box. It arrived the second day when I was filling in the sketchbook. It came with the Ecoline brush pens, so I decided just to like do a quick little play around in this book. Um, as you can tell, the paper's quite crinkly, so it didn't really take the water very well. And my calligraphy, can we just look at it? It is, it is not good. I do not like writing. Can I just draw please and not write anymore? So it was getting quite late in the day at this point and I was thinking, oh my word, am I ever going to get to bed? Am I ever going to get to bed? So I decided to do a quick galaxy. So this here is on actual watercolour paper. This is on the regular paper, just using uh, PH Martin inks and black ink. Um, I thought these were going to be quick, but with all the waiting and the drying and the flicking paint and everything, it took forever. And there's a little quote here by a poet, E.E. E. Cummins. It says, you are my sun and my moon and all of my stars, which I thought was a lovely little quote. So it's getting quite late in the night here. I decided I better put in some pose practice. It's one of my goals this year is to practice more poses. So I just did a few little poses. I really like this one here where she's laying on a tree, but it actually looks like she's laying on a giant banana, the way I coloured it in. So banana girl, that's what I'm going to call her. Back to using the equine brush pens again so I basically just blobbed on the brush pens first and then I went over with the pencil lines and I love this page so much this little bird here and this little one here which looks like a penguin but it isn't a penguin they are so cute I love doing like little birds like this because it doesn't you don't have to worry about being pressured at all into doing like the perfect wing shape or anything when you put the ink on first it kind of lets you Freeform almost, so you kind of have the bird. I mean, it looks like a bird. You can tell it's a bird, but it's probably not anatomically correct. And then the most exciting page, the last page. So I got to the last page, and I was really tired. It was like 11:30 at night by this point. I've been drawing all day, so I thought I'm just going to do something really easy. So you can line brush pens again, just some little peonies, and I wrote thin because that's as everyone knows <laughs> what you do at the end of a sketchbook. So that was my two day sketchbook and if you want to check out the video I have some little speed paints and stuff and me going a little bit crazy on camera because it's like really late at night time. I will leave that in the link that is last week's video if you haven't checked that out. So that was my sketchbook. Let me know if you've ever done a crazy sketchbook challenge like this. Uh, next time I'm going to try and fill it up in a day but that's next time's challenge. Thanks for watching. Bye.